everyone welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in this is my very first video and i'm so so excited to launch and to do something completely out of my comfort zone so stay tuned to watch the transformation on this furniture piece so when i bought this piece i wasn't quite sure what i was going to do with it I got a lot of my inspiration from Kasha Furniture. I'll link her in the description. She's awesome. I've learned a lot about furniture painting from her. And when I saw this piece and all the intricate details that it had, I absolutely had to buy it. I chose the color pink because it's very much outside of a color I would usually choose. I would usually just paint it black and dry brush it and be done with it. But this piece offered a lot of experience to me. I learned a lot while doing this piece and it taught me a lot about myself. So as you guys can see, I painted it pink. And at first I just felt like it was too much pink and I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I started to hate the pink. I went ahead and painted it black just because I thought black is safe. I can paint the black over the pink and be good. Little did I know I was about to teach myself a lot about patience and the importance of staring at a piece, choosing a color, deciding what you're going to do with it before you start doing it. But that's a part of the learning process and that's why I loved it so much. So here you guys can see where I am dry brushing the feet of the piece. This is my favorite technique. I also learned this from Kasha. She's amazing and she explains everything in detail and I was able to achieve the same look that she gave because of her great direction. So that was very helpful. So Kasha talked about mineral spirits in her videos and I had to go and purchase some mineral spirits because I had to lift some of this color off of the piece. I wanted the top to be a lighter wood, so I had to lift it. Now, I tried sanding it by hand when I first got the piece just to see, and there was no way I was going to be able to lift this without mineral spirits and there was also no way I was going to be able to sand it by hand. So my sander I got from Amazon. It was about $23. It came with sandpaper. It came with 80 grit and 120 grit, but there's 220 grit, 200 grit, I believe, things like that. Those are stronger and they probably would have been helpful for this piece, but I wasn't able to get them in the time that I wanted to finish the piece, so I went ahead and used what I had. So I'm sure you guys noticed the gold detail on the piece. This product is called Gold Gilding Wax. I discovered this product from Kasha as well. It's very inexpensive. I purchased it from Amazon for about $8 and I will link that in the description. I had so much back and forth with this piece, but I think this was the perfect opportunity to get into furniture painting and really give it my all because I always love doing it. I always love watching videos about it, but I never got up and did it. And this quarantine really taught me to invest in myself and do things that I like to do for me. So it was the perfect opportunity to paint this piece and to just give it my all. I just want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This whole YouTube thing and putting myself out there is completely, completely out of of the norm for me so i'm really just trying to step out of my comfort zone and do things that are different so i appreciate you guys for coming to my channel and taking time out of your day to watch little old me thanks